Imagine you ask someone on a date and they reject you because you're not attractive enough. So, time passes and you start dating someone else, but the person who rejected you at first comes back and asks for another chance. You're definitely going to return the favor, right? In 2001, something similar happened with the New Orleans Bowl and the Western Athletic Conference, or the WAC, and I am here to tell the story. But before we start, I ask that you like and subscribe to the channel. We got these mini documentaries, podcasts, and more. Over 88% of my watch time comes from non-subscribers, so why don't you stay a while and subscribe? I'll hold your jacket for you. Now, let's get back to that story. Our story starts in November of 2001, and the situation for the WAC is tenuous to say the least. The WAC has five bowl eligible teams and only two bowl slots, one in the Humanitarian Bowl in Boise, Idaho, and another in the Silicon Valley Football Classic in San Jose. Two of the bowl eligible teams are Rice and Louisiana Tech. Rice finished the year with an 8-4 record and a 5-3 record in WAC play. The Owls had one of the best rushing attacks in the country as Kyle Herm and Robbie Beck combined for over 1,500 yards in a triple option offense that averaged 281 yards per game. Louisiana Tech was the outright champion with a 7-1 record in WAC play and a 7-4 record overall. The Bulldogs were the complete opposite of the Owls, averaging 313 passing yards per game as future NFL journeyman Luke McCown threw for 3,337 yards and 28 touchdowns. Both schools had lengthy bowl droughts as Louisiana Tech had not been to a bowl since playing in the 1990 Independence Bowl and you had to go back 40 years for Rice's last bowl appearance when they played in the 1961 Blue Bonnet Bowl. Luckily, for both schools, there was a bowl nearby that was a great fit. The New Orleans Bowl in the Louisiana Superdome would play its inaugural game in the 2001 season and was close to three WAC schools. Louisiana Tech and Rice both were around 300 miles away from New Orleans, while SMU was about 500 miles away in Dallas. That's three schools that could sell a substantial amount of tickets if bowl eligible and two of them were looking for a bowl in the New Orleans Bowl's inaugural year. Furthermore, it would prevent schools like Louisiana and Rice from having to travel over 1,000 miles and lose money traveling to either the Silicon Valley Football Classic or the Humanitarian Bowl. No one wants to lose money traveling to a bowl and that was a situation that nearly half of the league's membership faced with the WAX Bowl tie-ins. Heck, even UCLA denied a humanitarian bowl bid in 2001 after estimating they would lose 300000 if they played in the game. If you want to learn more about that 2001 UCLA team, click on the card in the upper right hand corner. The only problem was the New Orleans Bowl had a tie in with the Mountain West, so WAC Commissioner Carl Benson did the logical thing and tried to swap a spot in one of the WAC's bowls to give Louisiana Tech the Mountain West spot in the New Orleans Bowl. After all, it makes sense for all parties. The New Orleans Bowl gets a local team Louisiana Tech, Bulldogs fans do not have to travel far for bowl season, while a Mountain West team gets a close bowl game in either Boise or San Jose. All this proposal needed was the approval of the New Orleans Bowl and Sunbelt. However, the New Orleans Bowl and Sunbelt did not take kindly to this proposal and rejected it. As Sunbelt Commissioner Wright Waters said, we approached the WAC last year about affiliation with our bowl and they expressed no interest, so we signed a contract with the Mountain West. We have North Texas and Colorado State coming and we are excited about that matchup. So, the WAC thought the New Orleans Bowl and the Sunbelt were going to forget about the WAC snubbing them and change their mind now that Louisiana Tech needed a bowl game? The ridiculousness of this thought is off the charts and the New Orleans Bowl is absolutely correct to turn down the WAC. The fact the Mountain West, whose closest school to New Orleans was New Mexico, who was 1139 miles away, signed with this bowl instead of the WAC, who had two Texas schools and a Louisiana school is mind-blowing. It's even more stupid when you factor in the fact the WAC had a tie-in to a bowl further east the prior two seasons in the Mobile, Alabama Bowl. And of course, there is the obvious fact that the WAC had only two bowl tie-ins for its 10 schools. In the end, Rice would not go bowling at all and would not end their bowl drought until 2006, while Louisiana Tech played in the Humanitarian Bowl 2,103 miles away against Clemson in Boise, losing 49-24. Colorado State beat North Texas in the New Orleans Bowl by a score of 45-21. 
but the Mountain West would lose the New Orleans Bowl tie in the next year to Conference USA. Both Rice and Louisiana Tech would appear in the New Orleans Bowl eventually, but as members of Conference USA, as Rice appeared in the 2006 New Orleans Bowl, while Louisiana Tech appeared in the 2015 and 2020 New Orleans Bowls. The wax relationship with the New Orleans Bowl shows that once you reject someone, it's best not to come back and ask for a second chance. But you know what, I'll always give you a second chance, so like and subscribe for more mini documentaries and other videos like this. Thank you!